I mean, it's obviously the best start of the season you can imagine. The steering moment for me was Mexico. Uh, with all this pandemic, it was a bit frustrating. Of course, we try to don't stop our activities. If you want to be the best, everything needs to be perfect. You have to know how to get up if you fall. The championship crown weighed heavy on their heads. They had to prove that they were not just lucky. Their passion would create their history, and that history would be the foundation for the future. Going beyond the championship in 2020. Elation has not abated for Hyundai Motorsport. Their first manufacturer's championship has driven expectations even higher. For the 2020 season, Hyundai signed Oi Tanak, the 2019 WRC's driver's champion. It's been a surprise from the first days. They are very well technically prepared. Coming uh, into new team, it's very difficult to expect something. I'm used to something, the team is used to something. Uh, you need to match this together and uh, these things are uh, never easy. Oit is well aware of what the team expects from him. If you come to a new team, you are going to drive a new car. Never know uh, what to expect. Yeah, if we expect too much, if something doesn't meet your expectations, it can be emotionally difficult. This is Oitanak. As champion, he's first to launch into stage four, still finding his feet in the new car. On the first day of the rally, Oit reaches 180 kilometers per hour. <laughs> It happened in an instant. Oit, he was in, in the pain, he couldn't breathe very well. I asked him, are you okay? Somehow he says that, okay, yeah, he's okay. I went from his door and that it was like almost uh, 15 meters uh, uh, cliff. Thankfully, the crew was not badly injured, but the car damage was beyond repair. Oit had no choice but to retire from the rally. For sure, you never uh, plan to crash a car or to have an accident like this. I was not really in the mood to push the limit. It was just something by surprise. I never expected it. It was a new stage and uh, everything basically, yeah, just, just happened. Oid's teammates, on the other hand, were driving hard. Thierry Neville has taken the early lead. Nail-biting moments back at Hyundai Rally HQ, on the verge of something momentous to kick off the new season. Coming into the power stage, the momentum is with Neuville and Gilles Saul. The Belgian crew have dominated the back half of the rally, winning the preceding five stages. It is a power stage win by the slimmest of margins, and with that, a Monte Carlo rally win. We were able to go forward step by step after each stage, we improved the uh, our collaboration and uh, I was getting more and more confident to push out. Also, we improved uh, quite a lot the, the setting of the car, uh, which gives us today the car to win the rally. The first rally of 2020, launching out of the gate like champions. Thierry's relaxed after winning his first rally, while Oit is having trouble calming his nerves. I was quite a bit hurt from Monte and, and I was really on the limit that I was able to sit in the car. I had some problems with my ribs, so it was really tight and a difficult time, but I was very happy that I, I was able to uh, tighten my belts and, and go to Sweden. Most important uh, after this kind of crash is to get immediately back into the car, you know, to to get back the confidence and to get the feeling. I would say on that point, uh, Monte Crash was uh, forgotten. Oit is looking for a redemption after not being able to finish in Monte Carlo. Yeah, 
Having been overtaken in Monte Carlo by mere seconds, Toyota intensifies their pursuit. They solidify victory early. Rally winner, Elvin Evans. And again the cheer went up at Toyota. First place may have been conceded. White was able to recover from his nightmarish crash in Monte Carlo. The battle begins. The conditions for the Rally Mexico are hot and dry. The course is up to 2,700 meters above sea level. In this environment, engine output is reduced and unpredictability is to be expected. Thierry's pulled over. Thierry was making good time. The drama continues here then at Rally Mexico. But the opening split from Uva was good. He was quicker than Evans by one and a half seconds. So this is just over five kilometers into the stage. But Thierry wasn't the only one to experience problems. Certainly no, it's not. Oh, There's something no, wrong no, no, here. No. He's getting out of the car. No, it's more disappointment for Danny as well. It could be two retirements in the same stage, unfortunately, here. Races are like this. Sometimes we have problems, and uh, they we are really disappointed for this, but uh, uh, motorsport is, is like this. Danny and I, myself, had to retire, but... Uh, Unfortunately, um, we still got it now uh, on a podium position, so at least some points. Also, we bring back some points for the manufacturer, which was important. That's why we kept on going today. And The bad news just kept pouring in. And that's because of an announcement from the rally organisers that the event would now finish at the completion of Saturday's stages due to the fast-changing travel restrictions connected with the global COVID-19 virus outbreak. Through the race, we were able to climb back, then to finish second, but yes, just basically two, three stages before then. We knew that rally will uh, end earlier than planned, and so we were not able to climb anymore. I was continuously questioned about things for which, sadly, no one really had answers what we should do. The most I was able to not panic the situation. The WRC was not immune to the effects of the pandemic. Rally Mexico finishing early meant giving up a chance for first place. Without screaming fans and roaring engines, the roads were eerily silent. It was a silence that would last for months. World Rally Championship has finally resumed. It's back after almost six months, 25 weeks, and 72 days. A total of five events were canceled or postponed. The season resumed with Rally Estonia, home country to Oit and co-driver Martin. Hyundai has always been struggling on uh, fast roads. And in Estonia we have very fast roads. Probably our competitors didn't expect too much from us, but uh, the preparation we did uh, during the lockdown, development has been in the right direction. White believed that this course is where they would bounce back from adversity. His preparation during the long lockdown was solid. First victory for the team. We really had to prove that uh, we have improved and, and developed the car further. I'm sure all the team uh, members can be extremely proud of themselves. Following Oid's first place finish, Hyundai Motorsport started Turkey, five points behind in second place. The pandemic made it unclear how many more events would actually open. Every rally was important. Unfortunately, things didn't go as planned. In the Manufacturers' Championship, Toyota leads Hyundai by nine points. Expectations were high at Rally Italia Sardinia, where they had achieved victory before. And it was Sordo that everybody was waiting for here, the rally leader. Sordo was in good shape. Trying a little too hard in places, tumbling down this famous sandy cliffside to the finish. But the Spaniard was controlled enough. He would claim the rally victory. Finally, the lead is theirs. The results from the Rally Italia Sardinia are outstanding. 
Danny Sordo, first place. Thierry Neville, second place. Thank you. We have a lot of pressure, a lot of. I didn't want to lose the victory, but I didn't want to make a mistake at the same time. We took maximum points from the power stage. Performance is there. Car is strong, fast. I believe we have every tool to still fight for the championship this year. Hyundai Motorsport has taken the lead over Toyota in the Manufacturers Championship. Rally Monza would be the final rally of 2020. The rally would take place without fans. Thank you for all, anyhow, whatever will happen, uh, whatever will be the result, thank you for what you have done this year. Only seven points separate Hyundai in first and the second place team. It's a tense mood in the service park. Everyone is aware that a small mistake can be a big difference. I seen people losing championships on the last laps of a race or on the last kilometers of the last stage and everything can happen, everything can happen. Mother Nature had special plans for the drivers, alternating between rain and snow. Front wheel off. The problem is it was really early on in this stage and unfortunately for Thierry it is the longest stage as we mentioned of yeah, really struggling through that. Nah, this oh, it's drowned good. out. It's drowned out. Having led his team to this point, Thierry's disappointment is real. I had some small experience over there for the Monza Rally Show, but roads were pretty different. Conditions were horrible, and our week was messed up from the beginning to the end, to be honest. Uh, Thierry must retire from Rally Monza. In the rally, so many scenarios, you need people that you can trust and you can share and you can uh, get your feeling. This is what you need. This is for that it makes you strong. Nowhere else, but just from the middle, only from the middle. Uh, the braking is okay. okay. When you tell me you're done, yeah. tell me I go yeah. straight. Time the clock, make the, the most pressure to us. We can say that we reached the point that we don't need words. You just need to look at the face of your colleague and you know what he's feeling. The mechanics, although they are hidden away in the service park, their spirit is imbued in the cars they touch. Teamwork is the most important thing. Motorsport is a teamwork. To get the people together, they have to have the same spirit. Snow made Monza mountain roads even more perilous. Back and forth, the pursuer becoming the pursued and vice versa. The competitors gave nothing away. Predictions on the outcome were merely guesses. Hyundai's drivers pushed themselves and their machines to the limit. At the power stage finish, Danny's mission was accomplished. His team, Hyundai, the manufacturer of world champions. They have successfully defended their championship title. To win again proves that the first one wasn't just good fortune, but more than that, it cements their place on the world-class stage. Many people on one team with one purpose. This is the result of their labors. At the beginning of the year already started to be difficult and we had a long break and now end of the year we managed to get back into the championship. It was amazing because then we confirmed that what we achieved last year, so the title, was not by luck. They began with nothing but a goal, to try to build a competitive rally car. With championship titles under their belts, they can dream of the future. This is how Hyundai's N brand was born. The transition to performance car development was natural, stemming from the WRC experience. Objectively, we had to make a new car and we had to make a new car and we had to make a new car. WRC와 고성능이 연결되는 연결고리가 바로 그 사람들인 거죠. 오토스포츠라는 과정을 통해서 현대차에 대한 고성능, 이제 극한 성능에 대한 철학, 접근에 대한 의지를 확인을 하고 그런 과정을 통해서 N이라는 브랜드를 런칭을 했기 때문에 아, 현대가 이 정도까지 해냈구나. 
나는 긍정적인 피드백을 줬다고 생각하고요. We see in the first couple of races how rough and tough this championship is and how rough it is on man and machine. Doing so, we test what makes N a true N. It keeps its DNA being racetrack capable and a true corner rascal. We are devoting the best technology to motorsport because we see it as a testbed and proof point for performance. Based on hydrogen fuel cell technology, the eco-friendly high-performance Hyundai N 2025 Vision Gran Turismo is a vision of N potential and Hyundai's future. Also, we are preparing an electric-powered race car for ETCR, which is our first ETCR race car to be added to our racing car portfolio. These challenges create significant opportunities to demonstrate our technological leadership. They chose not to quit. They battled to the end. 굉장히 극단적인 차량들을 개발을 해보고 이러면서 어떤 그런 틀에 갇혀 있지 않고 어, 좀더 다른 아이디어들을 좀 생각해낼 수 있는 어떤 그런 식의 밑바탕이 되지 않았나 생각합니다. You are learning about past mistakes. It was always the challenge to be stronger for the future. To do everything in your life 100% normally is uh, kind of impossible, but we need to be as close as possible to it and, and uh, hopefully more close than the, our other competitors. The desire for better has always been in our DNA. These two titles wouldn't have been possible without our fighting spirit or never give up attitude, which stands by the way for our Hyundai brand spirit. We have never stopped challenging ourselves. Sure, it took a lot of efforts, but we always adapted to the situation. This achievement definitely proves what we are capable of in terms of motorsport and high-performance technology. And we won't stop there. Courage is the inspiration for history. The sacrifices made now pave the road to the future. The battle for victory is determine who's the best, a dream is what happens after. Traveling this road has given us strength and we continue our journey today to be strong for what may come ahead. <laughs>